person determine that they're a long snapper? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Where does that skill set begin? Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, it was, I mean, I went to like a, like a one day like youth camp once when I was, uh, when I lived in Cincinnati and I saw, you know, the Cincinnati long snapper doing it and I was just like, oh, that seems like a pretty cool thing to do and I kind of just picked it up and, you know, never had really any formal coaching or any, you know, formal training in it until I got here and, uh, you know, just kind of luck of the draw, I guess. So, what what age were you at that point when you really got into it? Uh, I think I was a sophomore in high school when I really started to see that I could have like some type of a future in it, and you know I was pretty good, and you know it was it was something that I liked to do, and it was something that I was good at, so it was you know just something that came about. At that point, were you kind of pessimistic about being able to play football at at this level, or just? You know? uh, well, I didn't really know because I didn't know how well that I stacked up against other people at this position. I didn't know because I never went to any of the, you know, the big camps. I never went to any of that type of stuff. So I just, I mean, I went to a small school to begin with, University of Rhode Island, one double A school, and you know, I, you know, I did okay there. And when I came here, I was just like, you know, if I just come in and I work hard, you know, the chips will hopefully fall in my direction. And that's what happened. Uh, what was, I guess, what was the process that led you first to Rhode Island and then? down here? Well, I was, uh, when I went to Rhode Island, they, I was able to play football and basketball there. Okay. So that's what I did. And that was the reason that I went to the University of Rhode Island first. But then, you know, uh, my dad is the volleyball coach here. And, you know, I called my dad. I was like, you know, things aren't really going well here and things aren't, you know, the way I thought they would be. So, if, you know, is there any way that you think I could, you know, I could make it down there? And he said, yeah, like, you know, just send your stuff to, uh, uh, Casey Smithson at the time and sent it to him and they, you know, allowed me to come in for a tryout and I did well enough and here I am. <laughs> was it just, was it too hard balancing two sports or what were the challenges? Oh no, I, I loved it. I, playing basketball at the University of Rhode Island was a great experience for me. I played for Coach Dan Hurley, who's, you know, greatest, one of the best names in college basketball. It was, I was one of the best times that I've ever had playing sports, but it was, you know, I thought that football was the way that I was going to, you know, be the best at what I could do and um, so that's why I decided to just pick the football, stick with football. You played wide receiver those how do you get from there to long snapper and is there any crossover at all? <laughs> um, well I guess like with hands like I have pretty big hands and that helps a lot you know with, with when it's raining and when it's you know conditions aren't the best you're able to have a better grip on the ball but you know, <laughs> you know I was never the fastest guy, so I think that was where I kind of stopped playing receiver. And you know, you see guys like David and you know Kenny sitting over there lined up against you. You're not not gonna be able to do much <laughs> against that.